on the north banks of Loch Derg. Since the 17th century fortified house, this is Port Humna Castle. What's the crack with it? This fortified house was built between 1610 and 1618 by the fourth Earl of Clan Ricard, Richard Burke, as part of a series of other constructions at the time, others being places such as Loch Ray, Athenry, and Summerhill in Kent, England. Richard Burke was notable for having stood against Hugh O'Neill in the Tyrone Rebellion, having been knighted after the conclusion of the Battle of Kinsale, which ultimately shattered rebellion in Ireland against English rule, and the following years resulted in the flight of the Earls. But that's a topic for another time. The castle is defended by several layers of walled fortifications, making up the gardens to the north of the castle, with a series of gates leading into the site. The outer gate was made in the 19th century. After the middle gate, off to the left, we have the kitchen garden, where a variety of produce would have been grown for use in the house. The final gate is Tuscan inspired and is one of the oldest examples of the use of classical orders in this country. The house itself, for its time, is one of the more innovative designs in Ireland. The building is laid out in a double pile, meaning that there was a central dividing stone wall running lengthways through the house, with large chimneys running through the central wall of the house itself. Unfortunately, in 1826, a fire broke out, resulting in the almost complete destruction of the site, including the collapse of the central chimney stacks. The site lay desolate thereafter, sold to the Irish state in 1948. Since 1968, extensive work has been carried out to restore the house. The central wall and chimney stacks were rebuilt, using information from what survived architecturally, as well as early floor plans. The roof was rebuilt using native Irish oak, taking inspiration from surviving roofs from contemporary buildings such as the castles in Carrickonsor and Rathfarnham. With the roof back in place, it put a stop to environmental damage to the inside of the building, including allowing window frames to be repaired and windows to be built anew in a sympathetic style. This is an active restoration site, which works continuing to restore the house. Maybe in a few years more, we will be able to see more of the inside returned to its once splendour, and that this video may stand as a snapshot of its state as of 2022. As always, thanks for watching, and slán